One of my friends in college was lucky enough that her family had a boat. Not a yacht, but not a dinghy either. It was 30 feet long. My dermatologist has made more than a few dineros off of the sunburns I got on that boat. The only problem was that the boat was in dry dock, which means it wasn't sitting in the water waiting for us. It was basically in a parking lot for boats. We had to wait for the vessel to be put in the water, which ate up a lot of tanning slash sun damage time. Kids, wear your sunscreen. Well, now technology has come up with a way to quickly float your boat. Here's Allie Ward to explain. What if I told you there's a ginormous vending machine that dispenses boats instead of potato chips? Curious? Me too. So I set sail for the Gulf Star Marina in Fort Myers, Florida to check it out. That's where I met up with Todd Carroll, the skipper at the helm of a smart marina where the push of a button can launch a boat in minutes. The crane delivers it down into our transfer bay, and from the transfer bay, we manually move it out onto the boat lifts and, and then just float the boat off. Yeah. Like a vending machine, but upscale. The first of its kind boat dispenser can house 150 boats and is designed to withstand a Category 5 hurricane. Inside, the marina uses automated stacker crane technology to retrieve and deliver boats up to 40 feet long to their owners right into the water. Boat owners use an app to set up a launch time and more. The things that you don't like about boating, <laughs> we provide that for you. When you say you want your boat in at 9 o'clock, we can have it fueled up, iced up, case of water. When you show up, you walk right straight down to your boat and we throw the ropes off, off you go. How long does it take to get your boat from the storage? On average, it takes somewhere around seven to 10 minutes mm -hmm. for a what? boat to come down and be ready to be put in the water. I just can't believe that you can get a boat down from a dry dock faster than I can cook a frozen dinner. Oh yeah. <laughs> in the microwave. Well, I'd love to see it. Can you show it to me? Sure, let's go. Awesome. Wow, this is massive. Now, I see that some of them are tandem. Is that typical in a dry dock situation? It's not. This is the first time that we've been able to stack boats multiple deep. What the system does, it has to shuffle those boats in case the boat that's in front wants to go out. Mm -hmm. The warehouse management software is constantly tracking where it's putting the boat. Oh, it sounds like a boat's coming down. Yeah. <laughs> now that's the all clear. Make okay. sure that no one's in the way of the automation. <gasps> yeah, very exciting. Amazing. Do I get to keep the boat? Uh, yeah, that was a hard no, but I did get an all-hands-on-deck demo of how the automated system works, including the crane, which zips down the atrium at 11 miles per hour as high-tech sensors help guide it. What kind of sensors are doing all that calculating? One's called a light curtain. It just protects the uh, automated system from anyone being in its way. Mm -hmm. And the other sensors actually measure the boat. And before you know it... Wow, look at this! Here it comes! And there it goes, from warehouse to water in under 10 minutes. What do you say to a boat when it goes away? Um, Good job. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. 